Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a real quick preview of some house plans that I've been working on recently. Uh, I'll definitely do a much more detailed walkthrough in a video soon to come, but I also wanted to give you a look today at some behind the scenes kind of real-time discussion that Pam and I had about one of the issues we're, we're facing. Uh, this is These are just the kind of discussions that we have on a daily basis to kind of work through all the problems and questions that we have about, about building our own place. So uh, keep in mind this, this discussion came after a little rant that I had of, uh, of all the little details that are involved in this one little issue that we were talking about. So we thought it'd be good to document it. So have a look. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I would like for you to Hello. recreate your rant. <laughs> Can you recreate that rant? No, I can't. Well, you have to what, catch it real time. What is, tell tell me what we're arguing about. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what we're arguing me? about. <laughs> Show me what the problem is. We're having discussions. Here it is. It's just discussions. Here it is. Discussions. This is the way I originally envisioned framing windows. Am I allowed to show this, or I thought you sure. were doing a, a big you reveal, can show this. a big reveal? You want to, you want to keep stopping me, or? Okay, go. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is how I showed us framing the windows. I didn't realize until I showed, which by the way, this is very similar, if not exactly, this is very similar to the way we kind of were taught how to do it. Okay. Except there are some things that I didn't quite understand completely. But, uh, and this is almost exactly how the little uh, volunteer thing we did in Tucson, this is almost exactly the way it is framed around a window. But I didn't realize something. So I drew this and I was gonna draw a video, uh, I was gonna do a video of this SketchUp yeah. that showed the bales and the window frames and the top and the box beam and all this stuff. And once I filled in the bales, I realized something. <laughs> if the bales stop up beside the, these window frames, how do you, what do you put below the window behind this frame? And what do you put above the window behind this frame? Show the other one. Well, oh. no. Not this, yet. I'm describing the problem. Okay. The, this is the problem. I can't just take a bale and shove it in here because once I put right, these because studs. Because right here, it would just no, be. No, <laughs> go to the bottom. We're talking about the here? bottom. Here? We're talking about the bottom. Once these studs are in place, you can no longer put a bale there. Right. It would stick three and a half inches out farther from the wall than these bales beside it. Okay. So you've got a problem. On top, it's even worse. You've got the same problem is that you can't push it all the way to the front of the wall like the other bales are. But also, there's nothing, there's no shelf for a bale or any other sort of insulation to sit on. There's nothing. You I would get have it. to hover in the air. And this didn't hit me for some reason. This didn't hit me until I drew this drawing. That's why I have to draw these drawings. <clears throat> also, there's a million so, different ways to do there things. There are. Everybody in the world Everybody's that I talk to, if I asked 100 people how to solve this problem, I'd get 100 different answers. <laughs> and that's all fine, but I need an answer <laughs> I, that I'd like I can to use. point out that that's uh, Brian's Pretty sweet, haircut. sweet, sweet haircut. <laughs> okay. So, I've been going around and around. I've been asking people how to solve this problem, but the reality is, I basically just have to take some of their advice and and maybe even sort of modify it into my own kind of thing. So so I did. So here's the solution I've come up with. Oh, I also ah. would like to point out if Brian if up. Brian seems a little heated, it's because we've been sitting here for like two hours yeah. arguing or and it's getting hot. Disgusting <laughs> disgusting about it. So here's what I've come up <laughs> with. Disgusting. Basically I took that frame structure that I had based at the at the outer edge of the sill plate right just at the outer edge you can tell and, over here it's just at the was, outer edge this was bill steen told you to do this right well or, not exactly it's what i thought he told me to do oh i actually misunderstood him that's the problem uh so anyway but i think it can work and if, so, if you don't know bill steen is a <laughs> bill steen is a big strong guy Ex this video is going to be about 40 minutes Ex long this okay. way. It's been almost, it's not even th four so, minutes yet. Okay. So I've decided, this is what I'm currently thinking. I'm going to take this structure, which is a fairly standard frame structure. It, it's totally standard, right? That you would build in a normally framed house with, yeah. with stud walls, right? And I'm going to basically double it. I'm going to make one of those on the outer edge of the wall and one of those on the inner edge of the wall. 
Like a, and between a those two things, like yeah, cage. between those two things, I'm going to add little cross members to make a ton of little boxes that results in one big box that is our window. window box, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, on the sides of that window, and I can add wood here if I want, or but there are different ways to kind of, let's say, uh, cover this opening. On all four sides, there are different ways to cover it. I can put a piece of wood here. I can put something else here. I can find ways to plaster these things by using chicken wire and things. But, but the point is, it gives me a structure up top to fill. Yes. And it gives me a structure down the bottom to fill. Yes. And it gives me support on the bottom if, say, this wants to be a, like a window seat for me to actually sit on there. There has to be something under it Ooh. that's strong, right? I would, that and sounds And the awesome. same thing up above, to put any sort of fill up here, I need a bottom for it. So Bill, suggest, Bill Levin suggested, which I hadn't thought about. Upside of downside. And I haven't seen this in all the books I've read, and not that I've read every book or watched every video, but I've looked at a lot. Bill suggested baskets of kind of uh, baskets, uh, chicken wire. and then you fill them with And filling them. Straw. I had never seen that. I, hadn't, I didn't even think of that as an option. But this is a similar thing. It's basically building those baskets out um, of wood. What if you put cob in there? Can you put cob inside? Maybe. There? Maybe. I don't know. It's heavy. Yeah, I don't know. What I but now what I'm thinking, what Pam and I have just talked about, is the potential. So obviously now you've got insulated walls beside the window, insulated walls beside the window. One problem is, well, what are you going to do in these cavities now? I can't shove a straw bale in there, obviously. I mean, look at it. I can't do that, right? Not a I whole even, one. I don't even think I can shove loose straw in there because I don't know how tightly I could pack it or very well because these are pieces of wood, out. right? Well, well that's just, why you would need to I don't know if wire. I could pack it tight enough. You could probably do it. So what I'm currently thinking is... We're going to have insulation guys, spray foam insulation guys, come and do our ceiling. Mm -hmm. Why not have them just spray these cavities? So obviously mm -hmm. you have to give them a, a, you have to cover the outside at least temporarily with some sort of surface so that they can spray in there and it'll stop. Well, that's why, um, so I want to show the, so the uh, shed out here has that siding and I thought that we could put the siding on. But yes, once, so I'm talking about the insulation. You have to find a way to get that insulation in there, right? So maybe they spray it in there, and to, for them to spray it in there, obviously I have to put something on the outside for that spray but to hit and stop. But if the siding was on the outside, then you they could, could go it. ahead and spray Correct. it. Correct. So the next, the next thing after I've filled these cavities is, okay, so we talked about I have options to kind of cover these four faces of the box around the window. The next question is, now there are also four faces kind of on the wall, one above the window, one below the window, on the inside, and the same thing on the outside. There's a face above the window, below the window, that now, let's say it has uh, spray foam insulation in it, right? So yes. the nice thing about this option is, I think it gives us now choices. We can actually create sort of accents. We could cover this on the inside. We could cover this face that we've created with some sort of wood material, decorative. It could be pretty, whatever. So we could use some sort of different material, like a metal or I something just for looks. I the corrugated metal. You could. Maybe. You could. And Potentially. The thing is, on the inside, you don't have to worry about the weather. Right. But on the outside, you do have to worry about the weather. So on the outside, again, on the outside, you could use like a corrugated metal. The only issue I'd be concerned with is maybe heat and heating up things and all that. Um, I'd be a little I worried think about I that. like the idea of, because I can paint things but on that But one option is the siding that we used on the shed. And yeah, so it would be, you know, you'd go from, you'd have you'd have combinations of, of plaster over bales and then wood siding and then plaster and wood siding and I we like can paint that. that wood siding it gives you it, it it could it could make things really neat looking yeah. by the way if we really wanted to and we can make this decision when we get to that point if we really wanted to there's no reason we couldn't throw some chicken wire on this stuff and just plaster right across here and you'd never even know that there was something different behind this than anything else. You could cover this whole thing in plaster and you'd never know um, the difference. The reason why I'm but leaning make towards that later. doing something a little different, on because the whole thing uh, being plaster, I think it'll kind of just like uh, make it a little more interesting. I agree. I totally agree. And I'm saying that we don't know that, what we'll feel like when that day comes. That's true. And that's a choice we can make on the fly, I think. And we're going to be having to make a ton of plaster, so that's yes. less plaster that we Absolutely. Have to so that is an interesting option. Okay. So we're almost at. And you could sort of, so. you could, you could kind of, uh, you could do trim, you know, beside all the, so the transition from plaster to wood could be trimmed up. So I think it would actually make the structure look much more interesting. To I tell do you the too. Truth. I do too. It, I like it. It gives you an easy way to add color. Because adding color to wood is a heck of a lot easier than adding color mm, to plaster. I want purple and um, teal. Yes. So anyway. <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> this is our discussion that we're having. This is a discussion that we're having before we actually build the window and door box. And again, for all those out there that have other ideas, I'm not saying you're wrong or dumb or whatever. There's a million ways to do this. I'm just trying to find one that I'm comfortable with that I believe I can build. He's never done that this I can before. Think through the process. <laughs> so I'm not saying that this is the way to build. I'm not saying that anybody that has a different idea is wrong. I'm just saying that this is something that I can see, I can envision, and mm -hmm. I think I can build. And I'm trying to think through the process of how it would work all the way through insulation and plaster and everything. So that's what I'm trying to hey, do. Hey, do you want to show uh, the little the house thing so we can give them a little teaser? Well, for the, I mean, the well, one, this is the teaser right the here. In, okay, mean, that's this, this is, is the, the teaser. teaser. It doesn't show the rooms. So but the next video that you're putting out is going to be. Uh, the one where you're going to go through the whole house. That's the idea. If and if this is the the only problem with that video was that I I basically realized that there was a flaw in the window bucking. Yeah. So um, put a little, so. a hitch. A little wait wait. <laughs> hitch a hitch in my giddy up. <laughs> hitch. <laughs> wait, that doesn't apply. Yeah. That's not it. When in Rome. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's wrap so, that up. Well, it's wrapped up. It's wrapped. Wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> You're a wrap. You're a wrap. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing or sharing with a friend. And click the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos. We really appreciate every view and comment. And if you're looking for other ways to support us, please check out the links in the description box. See, See you in the, the next, next video. video. <laughs>